Hey all, welcome to Shatrek. This is Raj here. Friends, today I'm spotlighting a new study from Tel Aviv University uh, that offers a unique treatment for HIV to prevent AIDS. This study is almost five months old, but since our audience is interested in HIV cure, I decided to make this video and it completes uh, the whole candidates, uh, the list of candidates that are around uh, for treating HIV. I would like to caution viewers that any therapy for HIV is years away as there will be rigorous clinical trials because HIV virus is a retrovirus and can survive in reservoirs and surface later in the body. Uh, it also integrates itself to the human DNA, so treatment is difficult. Thanks to advances in genomics and science, scientists are uh, approaching the problem from different angles and the Tel Aviv University approach is a unique one and that's the one that we are going to discuss today. I have reached out to Dr. Barzel and inv a lead investigator uh, Elisio Nehmat uh, who was involved in the study. And if either of them agrees to talk to me, I'll bring you an interview with them uh, and um, try to get the story in their own words uh, so that you can get a complete picture uh, right from the source. But before we proceed, I would like to request you to consider pressing the like button and subscribing to the channel. It will encourage me to bring more interesting content to you and it will be very motivational. And with that said, let's get started. Welcome back friends. First I need to caution you uh, that I am not a scientist or a doctor. I am approaching this from an investor perspective and feel that we all need to manage our expectations when it comes to a successful therapy for HIV. Where I don't understand, wherever I don't understand the underlying uh, scientific concept, I will use the quote from the researcher to com communicate the point. Uh, any th therapy that is good will have to go through the FDA approval process and the FDA approval process is a very rigorous process which will ensure safety efficacy and that uh, and, and also make sure that the therapy is uh, if not better but at least as good as anything that is currently available in the market for that particular condition. So the FDA approval is the golden standard and um, uh, most of the therapies, all therapies have to go through that in order to be accepted. Let me provide some background information that we uh, need to know in order to understand uh, this particular video. Uh, HIV is a retrovirus. Retroviruses are any uh, group of uh, RNA viruses which insert a DNA copy of their genome into the host cell in order to replicate. The human genome consists of the remnants of many ancient retroviruses and some are even found in other living organisms such as monkeys and deers. So retrovirus by itself is not bad. In fact, some retrovirus can be uh, beneficial. Uh, take the case of uh, Sincetin. Uh, in its former life as a retrovirus, Sincetin could uh, fuse with cell membranes to enter cells. Its modern form allows the placenta to form during fetal development by fusing cells together and this helps human reproduction. However, the HIV retrovirus is a really, really bad one. It's as bad as they get. HIV finds the white blood cells called CD4 cells. HIV gets inside the CD4 cell and makes copies of itself and then the HIV kills the CD4 cell and the new HIV copies find other CD4 cells to get inside and start the cycle again. HIV kills immune system cells that help the body fight uh, infection and diseases. The problem with HIV virus is that it attacks the human immune system and neutralizes it. Various research teams have taken different approaches to combat uh, HIV and with the advent of CRISPR, uh, there has been uh, much more uh, approaches that are now possible uh, to tackle HIV. The current treatment is mainly antiretroviral drugs that inhibit the growth of HIV by keeping the viral count down and allowing the immune systems to uh, remain in the body to fight other infections. Uh, the moment the uh, antiretroviral drugs are stopped, the viral count will increase and proceed towards AIDS. So that's the reason why people with uh, HIV right now need to be on antiretroviral drugs on an ongoing basis. At least that's my understanding. The HIV virus also has a strategy whereby if the regular strain is unable to make headway, Due to say CCR5 mutation, then it transforms to a strain that does not require CCR5. So to me it seems that one strategy alone may not be enough to contain HIV. There needs to be two strategies like what is being done by uh, AGT, uh, American Gene Technologies. I have also read an article where Dr. Fauci said that th this kind of an approach could have the highest chances of success and I have left a link to that article in the description for those who are interested in pursuing that further. 
Uh, then there is the excision approach of chopping off large chunks of DNA and rendering it harmless. We saw that in my earlier video on excision bio EBT101. And now coming to the study, the new study out here, uh, the new study is from Tel Aviv University, offers a new and unique uh, treatment for AIDS, which may be developed into a vaccine or a one-time treatment for patients with HIV as per their press release. The Tel Aviv uh, study examined uh, the engineering of type B white blood cells within the patient's body so as to make it secrete anti-HIV antibodies uh, in response to the virus. The one-time injection was developed for the first time in Dr. Brazel's laboratory. Uh, the technique involved, uh, the technique developed in the lab utilizes type B white blood cells uh, that would be uh, genetically engineered inside the patient's body to secrete neutralizing antibodies against the HIV virus that causes the disease. I recollect reading in an article somewhere that the area near HIV virus is not conducive for B cells. I think the article used the term like it's a nasty sewer uh, when it comes to B cells uh, approaching HIV virus. Here it seems that Dr. Barzil's strategy is to make the area around B cells not conducive for HIV virus. I think it's a genius approach. We can visualize the B cells as a type of white blood cells. These cells are responsible for generating antibodies against viruses, bacteria and more. They are basically the defense cell for the body. B cells are formed in bone marrow and when they mature, B cells move into the blood and lymphatic system and from there uh, to the different uh, body parts. This is the reason why the Berlin patient Timothy Ray Brown got cured of HIV when he got a when he got a bone marrow transplant that had the CCR5 mutation. His transplanted bone marrow produced B cells without the CCR5 door handle that the HIV virus needs to open. The B cell and um, uh, it could, since the HIV virus could not open the B cell, it could not infect it. If HIV can't get into B cell, the HIV can't replicate, and over a period of time, it will cease to be viable. Uh, it's, it will cease to be viable and. Um, Dr. Barzil says, I quote, uh, until now, only a few scientists and we among them had been able to engineer B cells outside the body. And in this study, we were the first to do this inside the body to make these cell generate desired antibodies. The genetic engineering is done with viral carriers derived from viruses that were engineered so as not to cause damage, but only to bring the gene coded for the antibody into the B cells in the, uh, in the body. Additionally, in this case, we have been able to accurately introduce the antibodies into the desired site in the B cell genome. All model animals uh, who have been administered the treatment responded and had high quantities of desired antibody in their blood. We produced the antibody from the blood and made sure it was actually effective in neutralizing the HIV virus in the lab dish. I also have a quote from PhD student Alessio Nehmad who was part of the study who says, we incorporate the capability of a CRISPR to direct the introduction of genes into the desired sites along with the capabilities of viral carriers to bring desired genes to desired cells. Thus, we are able to engineer the B cells inside the patient's body. We use two viral carriers of AAEB family. We have seen earlier uh, adeno-associated viruses. So, he says we use uh, two viral carriers of the AAV family. One carrier codes for the desired antibody and the second carrier codes the CRISPR system. When the CRISPR cuts in the desired site in the genome of the B cells, it directs the introduction of the desired gene, the gene coding for the antibody against the HIV virus, which causes AIDS. I have already reached out to Dr. Barzel and LSU requesting for a video call. If either of them agrees, uh, I think I'll be able to bring you a story in their own words. Dr. Barzel expl explains how dynamic their therapy is by saying, and I quote, we developed an innovative treatment that may defeat the virus with a one-time injection with the potential of bringing about tremendous improvement in the patient's condition. When the engineered B cells encounter the virus, the virus stimulates and encourages them to divide. So we are utilizing the very cause of the disease to combat it. Furthermore, if the virus changes, the B cells will also change accordingly in order to combat it. So we have created the first medication ever that can evolve in the body and defeat viruses in the arms race. Friends, I bring you information about various diseases, uh, disease cures from far and wide. I realize that many viewers are not looking at this from an investor's perspective. In this channel, I'm looking at everything from an investor's perspective and I'm looking at genomics as the focus area. So any disease that a genomic company decides to tackle using CRISPR or geno genomic gene theories, uh, I would be covering them. And that's how we started covering HIV. And now we have a lot of viewers who are um, 
personally interested in uh, looking at this here. That's why I'm bringing it to you. But I must let you know that I think every viewer has to exercise an amount of caution and not get overexcited. Expectation management is very, very crucial here. Whether someone is suffering from cancer or HIV, the possibility of a cure is very motivating. However, during the clinical trials, there are things that can go wrong. I would feel very bad if someone saw my video and became irrationally exuberant only to find a year down the line that a particular therapy I spoke of uh, about for cancer or diabetes or HIV did not clear FDA clinical trials. So be happy that progress is uh, happening because we also have got to be realistic at the same time. And one of the things I would like to tell all the viewers is that it's very, very encouraging that we have CRISPR-Cas9, now we have base editing, we have prime editing, we have all the tools. It's just a question of imagination of the uh, scientists and the researchers on how they will tackle the various uh, uh, genetic diseases and uh, disease that can be controlled through genes. The world is getting better with every passing day as we already have a cure for sickle cell disease and uh, TDT uh, thanks to Bluebird and uh, now CRISPR therapeutics is also online to release uh, therapies for SCD and TDT then advanced clinical trials and likewise a cure for type 1 diabetes is in the pipe and so is a cure for HIV. And these are all being done by great companies. A cure for HIV is being done by great companies like American Gene Technologies, uh, Excision Bio, and the team at Tel Aviv. Uh, and uh, I think a lot of good things are uh, there in store for us, but it needs patience. I think uh, at some point of time, somewhere around 2026, probably we might start seeing uh, approval for some of these therapies and getting to the clinic. And at the same time, I'm also hopeful that uh, there will be multiple uh, therapies available uh, taking different approaches. Uh, which will suit all the, uh, the entire universe of patients who are looking for such treatment. So my friends, um, uh, with that note of optimism, I'd like to uh, wish you a very happy weekend. And uh, uh, if you could um, uh, subscribe to the channel, it will be really great. And uh, if you like this video, please do not hesitate to press the like button out there. Uh, and uh, with that, okay, have a nice day. Bye for now.